how to create VLANs and assigning ports to VLANs. In this tutorial, we have VLAN 10, Sales Department, VLAN 20, Marketing Department with PC3, and VLAN 30, Management Department, PC4 and PC5. Switch 1 will be configured with three VLANs, VLAN 10, 20 and 30 and ports at red 0 slash 0 and at red 0 slash 1 they will be configured as access ports in VLAN 10 uh, this port will be configured in VLAN 20 and other two ports will be configured in VLAN 30 unused ports will be shut down Let's start with configuration. Show VLAN. You can see that only default VLAN is currently configured and all ports are part of default VLAN. Show IP interface brief command showing brief information about ports and you can see that status is up. Practice is to turn down unused ports, which we will do later in this lab. To create new VLAN, use command VLAN and type number ID, in our case will be 10. So we just create VLAN 10. I will show you how to use name command, which is very useful to name your VLAN. In this lab, VLAN 10 should have name sales. Let's create other two VLANs. So VLAN 20 with name marketing and VLAN 30 with name management. We can verify this with command show VLAN where you can see VLANs. So we can see VLAN 10, VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 with their names. Next it's to add ports to VLANs. So this group should go to VLAN 10 VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. These two ports, they are used by the computers. This one by PC3 and these two by PC4 and 5. Other unused ports we will shut down. Now open Ethernet port 0 slash 0 first we need to make it access port with command switch port mode access now this port we need to add to VLAN that we want with command switch port access VLAN and to specify VLAN 10. Now this port is added to VLAN 10. We need to configure other ports so let's do for Ethernet port 0 slash 1. So again, with switch port mode access command, we make this port access port. And now with switch port access VLAN 10, we just added to 
VLAN 10. You can also use command interface range command to configure both ports at the same time. Interface range Ethernet 0 slash 2 up to 3 ports so you still have to specify which is the ending port switch port mode access to make them access ports and now again switch port access VLAN 10 now all four ports they have been configured to be in VLAN 10 again we can verify this by typing command show VLAN so you can see that in VLAN 10 sales there are four ports now we need to do the same for other ports and to add them to VLAN 20 marketing this time we will use inter interface range command and to apply on all four ports at the same time So you need to put ending port. Again, we are making them access ports. And then we are adding them to desired VLAN. Show VLAN to verify that ports have been added to VLAN 20 marketing port interface range command we're going to group another four ports making them access ports and again adding them to VLAN 30 management verify all this with show VLAN and seems to be correct VLAN 30 management all four, four ports have been added. Show IP interface brief command. We want to see status of ports, used and unused ports. At the moment we can see that all ports have status up. These two ports, they are connected PC1 and PC2 and these other two ports we want to turn down so we will use again command interface range we'll be up, I, we will apply this command on two unused ports in VLAN 10 and do command shut down now both ports have been shut down in VLAN 20 we have only one computer PC3 which means that other three ports we need to shut down again range command and shut down can see that all three ports went in state down 
So for VLAN 30, we have two unused ports and we want to shut them down as well. Interface range command, shut down. Ports, change state to down. And we can verify this with show IP interface brief command. We can see that ports used ports are up and unused ports are down. I hope that you learn something new today. Thank you.